right, tonight we have the classic Manhattan. It's a bourbon drink or a rye bourbon drink. And this last weekend, we were actually in the bourbon country. And one of the great places we stopped was Willet Distillery um, outside Bardstown. Great place, fun tour, go to the restaurant. They make great products. I can't say enough about them, as especially as a family owned business. So the classic Manhattan, it's a rye bourbon or bourbon, depends on what your flavors are, but I prefer the rye one. It's where we introduce uh, sweet red vermouth. Now this is like a wine, so if you've had your vermouth for three years, toss it out and buy a new one. Uh, the garnish, this is really a slice of heaven here. Luxardo cherries, they are expensive. This little jar is close to $20. The cherries are very small but the amount of flavor they pack in is absolutely worth the price. Um, and then we add in one of the ingredients is bitters. And bitters are all now in all kinds of flavor. They've kind of become a very fad type thing. And everybody's used to the Angostura bitters, fantastic. But there are lots of other options out there. They get flavored ones. This one's cherry. This one is bitters that have been stored in a bourbon barrel. Uh, Woodford Reserve makes their own line. This one's orange and this was um, chocolate. Um, Peychaud's is a New Orleans bitter. Love it. Um, Sazerac, which owns Buffalo Trace and all those brands makes their brand of orange bitters. So we'll be playing with these later, but we're only gonna be using the Angostura tonight. So in a, let me give you a little room here. In a mixing jar or mixing vessel, we're gonna take two parts rye whiskey. In this case, I'm using the jigger. One part, two parts. The sweet red vermouth, we're actually using half a part. So I'm gonna fill this up halfway, and it goes. This can get kind of overpowering. If you like more of it, add more, you know, but don't go crazy on it. And then we're going to add two to three dashes of Angostura bitters. One, two, three. All right. Once again, play with these things. Find the ones you like and, uh, and go for it. Stir that around. Cools the cocktail down. It also dilutes it just a little bit. We're going to use our cocktail strainer. This is called a Hawthorne strainer. Okay, it's the one with a little spring at the top. We're going to... Pour that into our Manhattan glass. This is one that you can either serve straight, you can use one of those big ice cubes as you like it. And if you choose to garnish with it, you can either cross it atop the top, or across the top, or just drop it in. It's really a great cocktail and a classic Manhattan that uh, never goes out of style. Great one to play with that you can try different things and experiment. And uh, cheers, enjoy, be safe.